Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Welsh Allen PC-based spirometer. This film has been designed to show you what you get when you buy the spirometer, how to take patient tests, and finally, look at some of the reports available in the CardioPerfect software. But first, let's look at the components. When you buy the spirometer, you get a USB connection with tubing, disposable flow mouthpieces for the patient to use, CardioPerfect software, which should be loaded to your PC or laptop. Finally, there's a three litre calibration syringe and you should calibrate your spirometer once at the start of each day of use. Now taking a spirometer using the CardioPerfect software is really easy. Open the software and enter the patient's details as required. Click on patient in the top left hand corner of the screen. First of all enter their NHS or other ID number, their last name, first name, gender, date of birth, race, weight, and height. Then click OK and the patient details are sent to the database. Now if they have had a test before, open the software and using the search facility key in their surname or ID number. Click on go and the name appears underneath. Highlight the name and you're ready to start the test. If the patient hasn't done a spirometry test before, it's a good idea to coach them on the type of blows you want them to perform. You'll get better results that way. You can now fit a flow sensor to the end of your tubing and connect the USB cable to your PC. Go up to where it says spirometry at the top of the screen and click on the icon. It loads the module and a box headed new spirometry test appears on the screen with all the details of your patient. Now if they're a smoker or an asthmatic you can note it at this point. Then click on next. and The screen changes to show the predictive norms for the patient based on the information you've given the software for FVC, FEV1, the ratio and PEF or peak flow. But first, click on SVC at the top of the screen. This stands for slow vital capacity or relaxed VC and this is the first test you're going to ask the patient to perform. Click on record in the top left hand corner of the screen and wait for the stabilising flow sensor message to disappear. The patient should then breathe in calmly to their full lung capacity, pick the sensor up place it in the mouth and breathe out slowly until their full volume is achieved. When the patient's completed the effort, click on stop and the test is logged. If possible, you should do three of these blows. Now click on the FVC tab. In the bottom left hand corner of the screen you'll see the predictive norms for the patient based on their age, gender, ethnicity etc. For FVC, FEV1, FEV1% the ratio and peak flow. Click on record again, wait for the stabilising flow sensor message to disappear and then the patient should breathe in as before, place the sensor in their mouth before blowing out as forcefully and for as long as possible before their volume is used up. <coughs> when they finish the effort, click on stop and their blow is compared to the predicted norms. Again, you should aim to do three FPC blows. If you want to give the patient an incentive to blow harder, 
Click on the incentive icon at the top of the screen, followed by record. Patient should breathe in calmly as before, place the sensor in the mouth and blow out as hard as they can. If they blow hard enough, as you can see, the fireman will put the fire out. At the end of the effort, click on stop. Once again, the actual effort is logged and compared to the predicted norm and you get a percentage against predicted at the bottom of the screen. When you've finished the FVC part of the test, click on Done. If you want to perform a reversibility test after the patient's FVC, give the patient medication as diagnosed and then wait approximately 15 minutes before getting them back into the treatment room. Then go back into the CardioPerfect software, find your patient, and highlight their previous spirometry test in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. At the top of the screen, click on New Effort and change Pre to Post and enter your medication and dosage as necessary. And then to complete the reversible test, click on Record in the top left-hand corner of the screen. When the stabilising flow sensor message disappears, ask your patient to pick the flow sensor up, place it in their mouth and blow out as hard as possible. When they've completed the effort, click on stop. All the results can be saved on a PDF file for attaching to your patient record system on one A4 page. And now we're going to move on to calibrating the spirometer. To do this, place a flow sensor into the mouth of the calibration syringe and connect the USB lead to your PC. Then go into the CardioPerfect software, click on File, Open and Spiro, and then click on the Calibrate icon at the top of the screen. When you've filled in the fields for temperature, humidity and pressure, click on Next and when the calibration window appears, click on Calibrate in the top left hand corner of the screen. If you haven't already done it, pull the plunger out to fill the syringe completely and click OK. Wait until the stabilising sensor message disappears, the software counts down 3 two, one, and when the blue bar goes across, push the plunger in and pull it out one time. Don't stop between them. When you see the message appear on screen asking you to accept the stroke, click yes, and the software tells you if the ATS standard has been met. If it has, click accept. If it hasn't, recalibrate. When you click accept, the calibration goes in to the patient log after you click done. That's the end of this Welsh Island spirometry training session. Thank you for watching.